Good morning, Solomon Schechter. I'm Daniel Friedman. I'm Shemin. I'm Tolly Wolfson. And this is the Schechter Scuttlebutt. I'm not doing that. Really, guys? Really? <laughs> right. Sometimes, Sometimes I, get I get bored at the office. Sometimes I get bored with my wife. Sometimes I just sit around and ask what happened to my life. Then I wait for that day every Friday around me. Do you need to scuttlebutt? No, isn't that? Shabbat Shalom! Candle lighting is at 5.40 p.m. today, and this week's Torah reading is Lech Lecha. Today's cafeteria monitors are Danny Evans, Sammy Feig, Ben Fine, and Alana Forsheimer. Thanks to yesterday's cafeteria monitors, Sam Elbaum, Elbaum, Noam Eitan, Jonathan Elmalem, and Jess Bennett. Hey, keep the cafeteria clean. Now off to an interview. Thanks. Mike Garber here. As you may have noticed, our beloved Angela has gone missing from school property. It's quite nippy outside. I'm gonna go put on a sweatshirt while we go figure out where she's been. Let's see if she knows. Do you know where Angela went? I have no idea. Thank you. She doesn't know either. Wait, I hear someone inside. Could it be Angela? Nope, not her. Soccer team! Do you know where Angela's been? Dr. Braun, do you know where Angela's been? Yeah, she had a baby two weeks ago. Where have you been? Clearly under a rock. Over here now, without a sweatshirt. Now that we know why she's missing, let's go see if the Schechter students can figure out and name her baby. Sophomore girls, if you can name Angela's baby anything, what would you name it? I think I would name it Hillary. I think I'll name it Tess. So maybe it's just Tess Hillary. Great ideas. Freshman girls, if you can name Angela's baby anything, what would you name it? Well, I'm pretty sure her name is Ava, but... So, when I took the SATs last year, Angela's sister was my friend. Latoya. <laughs> no. So, both of them start with A. There's Angela, Andrea, I'm gonna call him Carmelo. I don't know. Cream cheese. There you go. Marie. Thank you. Maria? Obviously a great name. Not very well recognized. It's everywhere you go. But name her after me. If you could name Angela's baby anything, what would you name it? Um. 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 No, I don't know! No. Dr. Aviv, if you could name Angela's baby anything, what would you name it? Was it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. I'd name it Cheryl. Cheryl Basson. I'm gonna say Phil. Close enough. Steve. It's a girl. Um. Please, no laughter. This is a serious situation. Uh. That's a tough question. Asherita. Okay. Felicia. Phoebe Angela. Close enough. Junior boys. If you can name Angela's baby anything. No. Oh. Well, there you have it. Back to you guys. Thank you for that. Reminder, do you like looking at stuff? Check out USY summer programs on October 29th for summer 2013 options. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you come in here. Is it still words of wisdom? If it's not for me, you will soon find out. To celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., New York State's 2013 Fine Art and Essay Display Contest will be held. It will be, the deadline for this contest is December 3rd, 2012. For any questions, come to the principal's office. And now off to famous quotes you never thought your presidents would say. I have wondered at times what the Ten Commandments would have looked like if Moses had run them through the U.S. Congress. I was under medication when I made the decision to burn the tapes. Did you ever think that making a speech on economics is a lot like pissing down your leg? It seems hot to you, but it never does to anyone else. Being president is like running a cemetery. You've got a lot of people under you, and nobody's listening.
I have often tried to drown my troubles, but I can't get my wife to swim. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful, and so are we. They never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people, and neither do we. Today's lunch features BFL. Oh baby, oh baby. Also, there's burrito seasoning and yoga bar, and orange spa water. Final reminder, exceptional student leaders are invited to apply for the 2013 GE Reagan Foundation Scholarship Program. You can win up to $10,000 if you're a leader, have over a 3.0 GPA, need the money, and are a citizen of the USA. We're thinking of you, Barack. Apply online by January 10th see the link in announcements. Booker Tov. So that was a really difficult week, and I want to thank each of you for all of your efforts and for coming together as a true Kihila. Today, for special program, we're offering three different options. Number one, in the middle school vacant asset, Amy Carlson will begin with a little comedy routine, followed by seniors Nate Spilka, Jesse Flores, Mike Kashiko, and Russ Israel doing a jam session. Please come on, stop by. Outside of the cafeteria, option number two, there'll be an art project for those who would like to express feelings about this week and about Pride and Schechter. That project will be entitled We Are Schechter. And finally, if you just want to chill a little bit, you can have a key lot period. You could touch base with teachers, friends, and just uh, have a nice end to the week. Ninth graders, you will have lunch first and special program options second. Ninth and tenth graders. Eleventh and twelfth graders, you will have special program first and lunch second. Thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend and Shabbat Shalom. And from all of us here at the Schechter Scuttlebutt, I'm Daniel Friedman. I'm Shemin. I'm Tolly Wolfson. And that's the way the Scuttle Buttle. Oh! It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. It's a new dawn, it's a new 